Hello and welcome back to another interview at the Jitex Global Dubai 2024. I'm Adele, the host, and today we have a special guest with us, Alessandro Budroni, Senior Cryptography Engineer at the Technology Innovation Institute. Alessandro, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm great. Thanks. Thanks for being with us. We are here to educate and learn about all the innovations happening at this tech conference. So tell us about what is it you're building here. So. Quantum computers uh, are a thing. They are being built all around the world. Uh, every year are larger and larger. They right. are cool, but they break the crypto systems that we use right now. So the security that we use right now for our communication on the internet will be broken by quantum computers. So what can we do about it? We can use a new technology called post-quantum cryptography. So that's why we say quantum resistant data security. So we provide uh, cryptographic solutions such as encrypting files, emails, uh, signing documents, but using a technology that resists to quantum computer attacks. Interesting. I, with quantum computing, is it, what's the relationship between quantum computing and blockchain? Is there a relationship or no? There is not a relationship. Uh, the thing I can tell you is that blockchain uses digital signatures. And the one that is used right now is based on a little course that will be broken by quantum computers. So also blockchain to be secure in the future, we'll have to migrate into post quantum solutions. Wow, so actually quantum computing is a better version of blockchain. They will break blockchain. Break blockchain. We need to move to post quantum solutions so that uh, quantum computers will not break blockchain. And how does it break blockchain exactly? So digital signature are based on mathematical hard problems. So as far as these mathematical problems are hard to solve, the security is guaranteed. The thing is that these mathematical problems can be solved by quantum computers. How? And that they, are, they have a different logic. Uh -huh. And thanks to this different logic, they can run uh, algorithms uh, that classical computer cannot run. Wow. And these new algorithms are able to solve these problems and therefore break the security. And also, if they, if they, can, if they can break blockchain, then they can hack into anything. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, 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 is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah. That's why we are pushing to migrate into post-quantum. Post-quantum is like a new algorithm based on new mathematical problem that resists to quantum computers. Interesting. Wow, that's very cool. So how is it that um, uh, you will monetize this way? Will you, be sell will you be selling your software services? How will it work? Yeah, like we have corporations uh, and government institutions that are uh, like interested in doing this um, uh, migration. It's not just that they are interested, they have to do it. Uh, so mm -hmm. we are there to help them to do this migration. And is quantum computing expensive? Quantum computing, uh, I mean, we still don't have quantum computers. So right. it's, uh, it's hard to say, yeah. Building a quantum computer is very expensive. It takes millions of investments. So yeah, there are several players in the, in the world that are trying to build one, like Google, IBM, Chinese government, US government. We are also trying to build one, but uh, still we don't have one large enough. We estimate that in 15, 20 years, there will be one. What, why is it so expensive? Why does it take so like millions to, to create one? Yeah, you, you know, we still don't know exactly how to make one in a large scale. Uh -huh. So it takes millions because you need to pay researchers, you need to pay the materials. We still need to develop uh, the technology to build one. Right, right. Interesting. Wow. So for those watching right now, if they're interested in using uh, post-quantum software, how can they get in touch and get in touch with you? Well, they can just uh, Google uh, Technology Innovation Institute uh, in Abu Dhabi and there will, there will be like a contact page they can contact us. In addition, we are hosting a conference uh, from the 12th to the 13th of November mm. in Abu Dhabi. It's called CyberQ. CyberQ. Uh, yes, and in this conference, uh, we will talk specifically about uh, migration from classical to post-quantum cryptography. There will be like players from all around the world that are invited uh, from the US government, for example, that will uh, explain how to do this migration, uh, what are the costs and the challenges. Fantastic. We will leave, we'll put that in the description so that the audience can find out. Alessandro, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this insightful. We'll leave all the links in the description so you can check out Alessandro's profile as well as Technology Innovation Institute. But for now, thank you again and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Let's go.